Good morning, Grade 3. Welcome back to Grade 3 Mathematics class. How are you all doing today? We have been learning about different types of measurements. In the previous class, we learned how to add and subtract different measurements of lengths. Today, we are going to see how we can add or subtract different measurements of weights. So to add weights, what do we do? Just like in the case of measurements of length, to add weights, first arrange them in the correct columns of units and then add separately. Let's see that with examples. Now, the first question is add 24 kilogram, 450 gram and 32 kilogram, 250 gram. So, you have two measurements of weights given here. Now, what is the first step? We have to arrange the given measurements in proper columns of units. So, which are the units here? The units here are kilogram and gram. So, for the easy addition, let's first draw a grid with these units. So, how do we do that? Let's write kilogram here and gram here, the smaller unit towards the extreme right. Now, let's draw a grid. Now, what do we do? Write the given measurements in the correct columns of units. So, here 24 from 24 kilogram goes in the kilogram column and the 450 from 450 grams will go in the grams column. Now, the next one, 32 kilogram, 32 goes in the kilogram column and 250 grams, 250 goes in the grams column. So, let's write it here properly. Now, the next step is to add the grams column first. Then, we proceed to the kilograms column. We start adding from the smaller unit to the bigger unit. Now, let's see how we can add these two measurements. So, we have written the measurements in proper columns of units. Let's start adding the smaller units first. So, in the grams column, we have 0 plus 0, 0, 5 plus 5, 10, carry over 1 here. Now, 4 plus 2, 6, plus this one, 7. So, in the grams column, we have 700 grams. Now, let's proceed to the kilograms column. Now, here we have 4 plus 2, which is equal to 6. Then, we have 2 plus 3, which is equal to 5. So, now in the kilogram column, we have 56 kilogram. So, what is the total weight? 24 kilogram, 450 gram plus 32 kilogram, 250 gram equals 56 kilogram, 700 gram. Hope this is clear to you. Now, we'll do one more question. Add 2 kilogram, 450 gram and 5 kilogram, 384 gram. So, like we said earlier, the first step is to write the given measurements in proper columns of unit, just like this. So, the kilograms go in the kilogram column and the grams go in the grams column. Let's start the addition now. In the grams column, we have 0 plus 4, 4. Then, the next one is 5 plus 8, which equals 13. Write 3 here, carry over 1 to the next place. Now, 4 plus 3, it is equal to 7 plus 1, 8 here. Now, here it is 834 gram. Now, 2 plus 5 in the kilogram column and that equals 7 kilogram. Make sure you are writing the units properly. So, here the total weight equals 7 kilogram, 834 gram. Hope this is clear to you. Now, we will see how we can subtract different measurements of weights. Just like in the case of addition, the first step is to arrange the given measurement in the correct columns of units and then you subtract them separately. Now let's make it clear with examples. See the first question here. Subtract 38 kilogram 556 gram from 49 kilogram 796 gram. So which is the bigger quantity here? This one. So from this, you have to subtract this measurement. So, the measurements arranged in proper columns here. So, the bigger measurement, 49 kilogram, 796 gram is written first. And from that, we have to subtract this 38 kilogram, 556 gram. Let's do the subtraction now, starting from the smaller units to the bigger units. So, in the grams column, we have 6 minus 6 equals 0, 9 minus 5 equals 
4, 7 minus 5 equals 2. So here we have 240 gram in the grams column. Now in the kilograms column we have 9 minus 8 which is equal to 1 and 4 minus 3 equals 1. So here in the kilograms column we have 11 kilogram. So what is the difference? The difference is 11 kilogram 240 gram. Hope this is clear to you. We will see one more question. Subtract 3 kilogram 125 gram from 5 kilogram 245 gram. So the given measurements in proper columns of unit written here. The bigger measurement is this one. From that you are subtracting this one. So we have written that correctly. Now let's do the subtraction. Here it is 5 minus 5 0, 4 minus 2 2, 1, 2 minus 1 1. So here it is 120 gram. Now 5 minus 3 what is it? It is 2. So here it is 2 kilogram. Now what is the difference? The difference is 2 kilogram 120 gram. Don't forget to write the units properly. So I hope these questions are clear to you. Now you have to go to the topic addition of weight and subtraction of weight which is in page number 124. Then you have to move on to exercise 9.5. You have to complete the questions, questions 1b to 1f. The first one we have already done in class. So from 1b to 1f and from 2b to 2f. These questions you can work out in the textbook itself. So once you are done with that, you can take a picture and send us to teams. So children, I hope this was clear to you. That's all for today. We'll meet in the next class with a new topic. Till then, bye.